Welcome back to the channel. So last week we did fresh pasta and as promised, I said that we are going to do something with that pasta. So today we're doing spaghetti carbonara, one of my favorite all time pasta recipes and meals. And if you have not tasted this recipe, you are definitely in for a treat. So instead of talking about it, let's get to it. All right, we are back and we're going to start off with a few simple ingredients. The first, we're going to start off with three eggs. We're going to do two whole eggs and one egg yolk. So we're going to crack our eggs. That's two. And one yolk. To this, we're going to add salt. some crushed black pepper, plenty of pepper, and then we are going to grate some Pecorino Romano. I like to stick with the traditional recipe of this. So we are going to add about a half a cup of this. And I have this recipe in the description. And after that's all done, we are going to mix this. And once this is all mixed together, we are going to set this aside and we're going to work on our pasta. So our next step, we are going to add some olive oil to this, to a hot pan. And I have some prosciutto here. The original recipe calls for guanciale. It was difficult for me to find guanciale, so I'm going to use prosciutto. And if you cannot find prosciutto, you can definitely use bacon for this recipe. And we are going to render the fat from here until it's nice and brown. Now, I've never done this recipe with fresh pasta, so I'm curious to see what the taste difference will be. Even though I'm thinking it's going to be a little better than the dry pasta that I usually use. So we'll see. So our pancetta is all browned. And what we're going to do is we're going to move on to our pasta side of things. Now I have some pasta boiling on a separate fire that I am going to bring over. So we have our pasta water boiling and we are going to add some salt to this because no one wants bland pasta, right? Please salt your pasta water. It is so important to do that. I'm also going to add just a little oil to this because I don't want our pasta to stick. And I have this fresh spaghetti pasta that I did that looks absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to try it and see exactly what it's going to taste like with this fresh pasta. So we're going to add this to our pasta water. We're going to mix this around. And because it's fresh pasta, this is only going to cook for about two to three minutes and we'll be pulling it off and putting it right back into our pancetta, which we'll let come back up to room temperature. And so now we're ready to move on to the last step and that's prepping everything. So we're going to do what we call tempering because we don't want to add this egg mixture right into this pot or into this saute pan because it will curdle. So in order to keep from curdling our eggs, we're going to take some of our pasta water and we are going to temper our eggs with it and we are going to mix this. And so now that this is tempered, 
The next step we are going to do, because this is still kind of warm, we are going to cut this off, completely off, and we're going to add some of our pasta water to this. And you hear that steaming? We want to wait until there is no more steaming. So, add a little more pasta water until we don't hear any more steaming. On to the next step, we are going to add our fresh pasta to here, and then we're going to add our egg mixture. And this is going to create that nice, lovely sauce. I wish you could smell this, but the great thing about it, once you cook it, you'll definitely get to smell it. And you'll also get to try it. And we're ready to plate this. And what we're going to do, we're gonna take our tongs and we are going to lift this up out of our saute pan. And what I like to do is when we come down, I take both my hands and I kind of like twirl it around. That way we get that nice looking twirl that we see in the restaurants. I'm gonna take a little more and we're going to do the same thing. Like twirl it around there. That way you get that nice twirl. Move some of this out of the way. I just wanna grab some more of the pancetta. And I want to spoon some of that nice sauce in here. And the next thing we want to do is we want to clean around the rim of our plate. And next we're going to grate a little more of our Pecorino Romano over this. And we are done. And just for good measure, because I love the pepper, I'm going to put some more of this fresh cracked pepper over here and we're all done. Okay, now it's time to go in for a taste of this. And let's see how this is. Mm. Oh my goodness. That cream sauce, the pepper, the Pecorino Romano, the pancetta. Oh my goodness. It's just everything at once is so amazing. Well, thank you for watching. Tune in, hit that share, hit that like, that subscribe button, and tap that notification bell so you stay up to date on this pasta series that I'm doing. I'm coming back with more pasta. Yes, more pasta. So until then, happy eating and peace out.